Well, Jade Zorab's joining us here in the studio, and love tech is what we're talking about, and I, I find this fascinating. Tech for particularly women. That's and, correct. And, and this is something that, in a sense, is so left field, possibly, to the old guard, you know, macho and men and tech. But women like tech? Of course they do. Of course and they do. You're, you're getting more involvement. So over to you. How's this coming about? Yeah, so it's come across really well. We've had the group running for probably a year now, and it was formed by a bunch of volunteers. Uh, we've got about 15 people on the committee, and we are trying to inspire girls, particularly, to become more involved in pursuing not just tech, but science, um, engineering, mathematics, those sorts of subjects. Okay, so my intro is completely wrong because it, it isn't gender specific, right? I mean, the, it, it shouldn't be anyway, right? Well, it's I just mean, they didn't have get the advantages of war for men, maybe. In yeah, the I mean, I think I think that's probably true. Um, well, certainly that men have perhaps had more opportunity than women in that field. I think traditionally technology particularly is just assumed to be a male dominated profession. And as such, we see a lot of um, girls perhaps being dissuaded mm. from taking those subjects. And therefore, uh, when they look to university level or indeed um, to find in jobs, um, the woman just filtered, you know, filter through and effectively in these uh, STEM careers, as we call them, there are very few women in these positions. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you had an event well, at the Eagle Labs and you were that's really surprised right. about your knockout sort of yeah, turnout, wasn't it? Right. So well, that was last summer. Yeah, last we hosted a, a launch event at the Barclays Eagle Labs and that was really well attended. So we had around 300 people. That's that amazing. Was, yeah, boys and girls. Yeah. Uh, so it was completely inclusive and we had tables of science experiments. We had um, Owen from the Code Club there. He's also part of our committee running a session. We had Sparrow Balls, so uh, loads of, of children learning how to, to play with those. Uh, so it was really well attended and that was our launch event. Okay, and the reason you're here this week is to talk about something that's coming up. So tell us about what, what it is. That's right. So we are doing a fundraising event which is a screening of an amazing film called General Magic. It's a movie that was co-produced by Sarah Karouche, who was... It's good man's name. It is indeed. And there is that connection, isn't there? There is, yeah. yes. So she was born on the Isle of Man and schooled here and was awarded a scholarship to go to the University of Idaho. And she says that that changed the course of her life forever. So she's been um, in the US for about 20 years now. And... Um, was based in Silicon Valley and has had a phenomenal career. At the moment, she's involved in leading an AI and um, robotics team uh, for a company called Kieran Medical. Mm. And they look at innovation to help early detection of breast cancer. She co-produced this film. What's it about the film? Yeah, good question. So the film is essentially about some of the pioneers in the technology um, space who were involved in, in 89, so pre-90s, pre the internet, who developed uh, all of the ideas today that led to, um, to Android, the smartphone being created, etc. But these individuals and the company General Magic failed epically. And the film actually tells the tale about how um, epic failure can actually lead to success. So, like the, I mean, the Newton's a good example, isn't it? It's great technology. It, it worked, but it didn't work brilliantly. And it, just didn't quite hit the mark. Yes, that's absolutely right. And I think the the movie goes on to tell the tale about what happened to the people who were involved in General Magic um, and some of the ideas that have now come to light. So Apple as a business, for example, and how those have managed to succeed off of some of the ideas that were founded at General Magic. Okay, so these screenings are open to the public. You want to sell some tickets? Tell us about it. Yes, so there are two screenings of the film. The first is aimed at teens, and that's on at 11 o'clock at the villa. What date is this? On Saturday the 19th of January. And those are £10 each. They can be bought on the Villa Gaiety's website. And there is information about the event at our website, which is lovetech.im. And there's this evening special one, right? There is, yes. So we're doing an evening screening for corporate sponsors. This is a fundraising event, so tickets for those are £60 each. You can purchase tickets either through our website by contacting us um, or otherwise by emailing contact at lovetech.im. That event includes um, a glass of fizz, some food, there's some goodie bags at both events. And most importantly, Sarah is coming over for the event and is oh. doing a live Q&A session. Fantastic. So she um, is so open to being a mentor 
for the youth and this event is not just aimed at girls it's for both girls and boys males and females we we are completely inclusive although we are trying to actively encourage girls to be more involved in the sector and um, she's so happy to take questions to hand out her email address so I hope that that encourages people to attend. And if people want to get involved with you, more details on, on the website on about website, joining you up. Absolutely, you. yes. And there are some future events plans too. So if they look at the news or the events page on our website, uh, all of the details are there and they can get in touch just by contacting us.